again, everybody. Welcome to the Jamie Chadwell Show here at North Greenville University, where Christ makes the difference. I'm your host, Fred Battenfield, and this is the Crusader Sports Network. Well, Coach Chadwell, your first spring game is behind you. You had a lot of fun, but it seemed like you had two goals in that game. One was pretty serious, and the other one was a little bit of fun. Well, we tried to, tried to do a little bit of uh, excitement with the game. We wanted to play the first quarter. Really, the first half, uh, pretty competitive. The first quarter went a little bit long, so we had to try to move it into the second quarter. But wanted to um, really uh, just uh, showcase to let our guys know what a game would be like the first quarter and try to do some things from the sideline, different things. And then wanted the fans to get involved there a lot in the second half. And so it seemed to be a pretty good day for everybody. Well, it was kind of a tale of two games. The first half, the first seemed to be a pretty serious football where you got a chance to really see what some guys could do in actual we, contact. But mm -hmm. then the second half was a little bit different. Right. First half we wanted just to, um, we, we did a base offense, you know, base defense, tried to not, not show a lot, if that's the right word. And, see if we could execute, a little disappointed in um, some of the penalties. That's things you can control really big on the team about what you can control. And so a little disappointed in that. But then the second half, we wanted to get uh, a lot of play everybody we could and then just get some fans involved and see their, see their kids catch a pass and different things. So it, worked. it was great. It was a good day. Yeah, the, the second half was a lot of fun. If you weren't there, this would be one of those games where we had about 500 people this spring game. In the future, it'll be about 10,000. That's right. Because we did have a lot of fun with, with the, the fans calling the plays and a lot of different elements of, uh, of the game that you don't, won't normally see. You won't see some of those plays that we saw in the fourth quarter uh, coming up this fall, will we? No, I hope not. If we are, I'll probably be looking for a new job next year. But uh, <laughs> we tried to, you know, we tried to get uh, the fans calling some plays, let them get involved, and then then you had girlfriends coming up wanting to see their big lineman catch a pass and different things. So it got a little out of hand. I didn't expect it when I was thinking about it. Like. I didn't expect it to go that far, but it kept going. I was like, give me some good ideas for next year. It really did. We're yeah. going to have some fun next yeah. spring as well. We saw some good things from your running backs and your quarterbacks mm -hmm. during the game. Now, offensively, it looked like there was a little bit of promise there. Yeah, I think, um, you know, run, I know Fred McMoore, I don't know exact statistics that he had, but I think he had a good day running. He had a couple, I know he had one long rushing touchdown, I think another one. So he, he really hit. Fred had a really solid spring and really um, – stepped up this spring and really take a uh, going into the fall starting row. I think our quarterbacks threw the ball around pretty good. I don't know exact statistics, um, but we, we had the interceptions that were disappointing. I think we had one, maybe two. But as far as uh, moving the ball down the field, I thought they did a good job with that. You know, but Like I said, the defense didn't show a lot either. So. Well, the defense obviously didn't show a lot, but they're going to be the foundation of your team in the fall. A lot of veterans coming back on that squad. They are. We've got to count on them uh, tremendously. Um, we've got a, a lot of starters coming back. I think we looked at it last year. But everybody on the defense is returning was a starter or played quite a bit. I think we lost uh, a linebacker that was decent named TD. He was okay. And so we lost him. Um, and I think there's a couple other we got to replace. But besides that, we got the majority of them back there. And uh, defense is going to carry us. Well, our offense is early because, again, you know, Richard Harb is the only one with a really a lot of playing experience coming back. So uh, it's a learning process on offense, but they're they're approaching it the right way. Well, Coach, you kind of set a, a tone at the very beginning of the game. You, you've got to tell us about the hat. You've got to tell us. Well, actually, that, that was given to me by uh, my grandfather a long time ago. Now, growing up in, in the South, obviously, Southern football, my history, I love football, just the history of it. And uh, obviously, Bear Bryant is, you know, if you're down here, Bear Bryant's the coach of all coaches. You know, if you live above the Mason-Dixon line, you know, it might be somebody else. But down here it's Bear Bryant. And he gave me that hat a long time ago. And um, one, just doing it to sort of honor him a little bit, just let him know I was thinking about him. He's been sick lately. And just thought I'd do something different. That's not, uh, if you know me at all, I can't stand wearing ties much. But I was like, you know what, I'm going to do something different, unique, show the guys I'm a little student of the game. I like to know the history of the game. And uh, I think they got a kick out of it. And sort of my coaches had a little dare with me too. So I wanted to let them know that, hey, you dare me, I'll do it. So I did it. So it, it, I had a lot of good comments on it. I'm sure a lot of people think, well, what's this guy doing? You know, but uh, it was pretty fun. Why well, you kind of keep people on edge a little bit so they yeah. keep them guessing about what Coach, uh, Coach Chad was going to do Yeah, next. you don't know what I'm going to wear in the fall, so you better be here in the opener. There's no telling what I have. you got to definitely be there. Yeah. Coach, you had a lot of recruits on campus on Saturday as well. We did. We had a lot of people here, a lot of guys that were uh, they're already members of North Greenville coming uh, from, the, from the signing class, and we had a lot of guys here that are looking to come. And um, So we was really pleased with who was here. Um, got a lot of guys that decided after the game that want to be Crusaders, so that's exciting. Still looking for a couple more out there, so um, but uh, it was a good day overall. Well, that's a great thing. Well, Coach, fill us in a little bit on the fall schedule. About yeah, I know you can't really give us exact specifics, but how about the home opener and some of the big dates that the fan, Crusader fans can look forward okay, to? Uh, the exact home opener is going to be August 27th versus Mars Hill College. That's for Thursday night. Uh, I believe the game will probably be at 7 o'clock. Uh, hopefully get all the students here. We're going to be one of the first games in college football kickoff because most of the games will start that Saturday. So we're going to be one on the kickoffs on Thursday. So looking for a great 
a home crowd and hopefully a great debut for us. And then um, our next home game would be uh, Wesley College. It's going to be on September 12th. That would be our next home game. I only have four right now home games out of six playing 10 games right now. Uh, and then the next home game after that would be University of Charleston, which would be our homecoming game. That's in the middle of October. I believe that would be October 17th. And then uh, in, in the year on November 7th with UNC Pembroke here at home. So we've got a good home schedule, play some good teams, and then uh, go to North Alabama during the season, which North Alabama is the top of Division II. And um, we, our program, we want to strive to be the best. And uh, North Alabama has consistently been one of the best in Division II over a long time. So that will give us a barometer of where our program at, where it needs to be. And uh, we played them last year, and um, we'll see if we've caught up to them a little bit, hopefully. Well, we hope so. Hope so. Well, Coach, the spring's behind you. You've got the, the fall to look forward to. What's going to happen this summer for you? Well, right now we're, we're working on uh, getting our guys, trying to see who's coming back to get start working out this summer. Uh, a lot of the coaches, we're going to spend a lot of time moving because uh, uh, nobody's nobody's down here yet. So this summer we're going to spend a lot of time moving and, uh, and then just trying to get organized because it's still been a whirlwind, a lot of things we need to do. Uh, but main thing, get our families down here so we can get our support down here and uh, get back into a little routine. You know, we're tired of seeing each other. Exactly right. Well, Coach, you've had a great spring. Anything else for the Crusader fans before we kick off in, uh, in August? Well, I'm looking forward to, uh, you know, having a great home crowd at all of our games and, and getting behind this team. I think you're going to be proud of what this team's trying to do on the field, but more importantly off of it, the type of young men that we have. And, and if you're out there and, and you're looking for a place for your son to go, uh, wherever you're at and you want to be in a Christian institution that uh, puts God first and they can get a, a great sound education and play quality football, North Greenville is a place for them. So we look forward to seeing you this fall. Well, Coach Chadwell, have a great summer, and we'll see you back in August. Sounds great. Okay. For Coach Chadwell, I'm Fred Battenfield, and thank you for joining us here on the Crusader Sports Network.